This video talks through how to convert recurring decimals to fractions and there's quite a simple algebraic trick you can use to do this. Now then, step one is to circle the recurring part. So in question one, that's 0.32. And then you times by enough tens to get that just to the left of the decimal point. So there's two digits there. So if I times by 100, so if I work out 100x, then it becomes 32.3232. So I've got the recurring part to the left of the decimal point. In this case, I will then write down x again below it. So 0.3232. That was the initial recurring part. And look, all the numbers after the decimal point match and line up. So if I subtract x from 100x, then something clever happens. 100x take away x is 99x, but 32.3232 minus 0.3232, all of the decimal points, so numbers after the point, cancel out. So I'm left with 32 take away 0 which is 32. So therefore x must equal 32 over 99. So the trick works because when you subtract away the two expressions all the decimal places cancel off. So let's adapt this to a second slightly trickier example. So Step one is to look for the recurring part of the number, which in this case is 4, 2, 5. So I want to times by enough tens to get that whole part to the left of the point. But there are 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four digits there in total. So I must times by 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, four zeros. So 10,000x will equal that entire part of the number moves to the left of the point. So we have 1425.425425 etc etc. Now then, if I write down x below it, then I'll have a 1425. It won't match off. But if I then times by enough tens to get the circle point just to the left of the point, so if I times by 10, so if I write down 10x, then I'll have 1.425425. So in the top line, the circle part is just to the left of the point. In the bottom part, it's just to the right. So if I now subtract, then 10,000 take away 10 is 9990x. And if I now subtract away, all the numbers after the point cancel off, but 1425 take away 1 is 1424. So therefore, x must equal 1424 all over 9990. So there we go. How to convert recurring decimals to fractions.